Setting base colors really shouldn't take more time than this. It would be fast and easy if we just use the fill tool. However, we don't. The issue being either the gaps in the line art or the bad fill and finish. The truth is, you can still use the fill tool, obtain a neat coloring and save time all at once. You just need to know how in order to work smarter. In this video, I'll try to guide you through making peace with the fill tool. When you click on it, four options will appear on the subtool window. All four of them will allow you to fill your drawing, but in different ways. The first one fills specifically what you selected on the layer you selected. So if you have, let's say, a circle on that layer, and you click inside, it will fill just that. But if you create a new layer, this option won't take the circle into consideration and fill everything since the new layer is empty. The second option, however, takes all of the layers into consideration. So in this example, it doesn't matter which layer you selected. If you click inside the circle, it will always fill just that. The enclose and fill option is the same as the previous one, but with a wider range of application. It's a lasso tool that will fill what's within the lines you selected. However, sometimes line art is not as neat nor regular as this example, and you might end up with something like this. Instead of being tempted by filling all of that manually, let's explore the option that will allow us to avoid such results. There is another window under the subtool window called Tool Property. This will allow you to adjust the three previous options in order to obtain a neater coloring. Go to Target Color and select all enclosed areas, including transparency. Next, go to Close Gap and set it to the maximum setting. This should allow the tool to fill the line art even with gaps. Finally, in Area Scaling menu section, set it between 0 and 10. This will neatly fill the line art without allowing the colors to overflow. There are obviously a lot more options down there, but these settings should be enough to solve any gap problem. The fourth and last option is another smart tool like the previous one, but instead of a lasso, it's a brush. This will automatically detect the lines and fill them with the color of your choice. Obviously, unlike a regular brush, you don't need to be precise. Just roughly paint your target zone to get the job done. It's a very handy option if you find the gaps after using the other tools. But don't have time to be all precise with your coloring. Now that you know the basics of the fill tool, let me show you some tips. Since the close and fill option can detect the colors too, you cannot use it on an already colored line art, unless it's for adding shadows, which would be another great way to use it. You can also click and drag this fill tool over multiple areas if you want to fill them all, instead of clicking on them one by one. Did you know you could erase with the fill tool? This one comes in handy in order to undo some of your actions. And all you have to do is select the transparent color here and work with it instead of the colors. As mentioned before, you should not limit the fill tool to base colors. You can use it to add shadows, light, and any kind of effect you feel like to draw with the close and fill. The paint and filled areas 
works way better if you adjust the size of the brush to the area you're filling. For example, if I color all of my zone with the small size, nothing happens. But don't worry, the tool is not malfunctioning. You just need to adjust the size of the brush. And that's it for now. I hope that this video helps you get a clearer idea on how to use the fill tool to your advantage. And thanks for watching. Salam.